All right, well, it's been a couple days since I've recorded, so getting back into the flow is always real fun. Can you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? Hey, Let's talk to Kaito. Shop talk? <laughs> Not going to be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Let's do it, man. Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Let's destroy some things that people worked hard to buy. Well, this the dump you brought Keiko chan to? It is. So could you please just let me go? <laughs> you get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you crazy? Even though the Yakuza control that place, it's probably not owned by them. If it's a restaurant. It looks like a restaurant. Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. Sugiura. Really? You mean Terasawa? But of course you would have known that if you would have watched Judgment. Hey there. You miss me? So you shouldn't even be watching this unless you watch those. And there's like 47 videos of them. Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Sukumo Kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, and he took Sukumo, fucking bastard. Agency? Meaning, now you're a detective. Yep, got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. Oh, and by Sukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought his hacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You want to wrap this up, Doc? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the pros so they can show us how it's done? Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh, yeah? Some more sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Just give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. You all set? <laughs> then let's roll. Thought he was supposed to be holding him by the handcuffs. Or at least that's how they do it around here. They handcuff you really tight and then they hold you by the fucking chain and then sometimes they even twist it. I guess it just depends on who you are. Got to explain what the fuck's going on? It's uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There, you see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugane myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him, then forks over the family safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a real legend. Don't talk like we're there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here. Come on, man. <laughs> Don't give him what he wants. I thought he was about to say I'm about to go like an ape and shit here. <laughs> we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? The balls. Now this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside, 
stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... Hey, Fucking uh, phone call. Hold that thought a minute. <laughs> Greetings, Yagamichi. Did Sugiyoshi call you a second ago? He did, but look, Supermo, now's really not a good time. Oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiyoshi and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company, I mean, any responsible member of society, it's, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Oh my I fucking know, god, that's why you don't answer your phone. Timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. Right, uh, where did we leave off? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, pretty lame talk. That's it. You jokers are dead meat! <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Come on, does this controller not fucking work? Oh, no. It was something else. It's wireless, so... They were too busy fucking talking. And, uh... Yeah, just shut off automatically. <clears throat> so yeah, it's probably gonna shut off a lot. Because of cutscenes. Come on, Kaito, what the fuck? Thought you were supposed to be stronger than that. What kind of punch was that? Punching like this? Like, what the fuck? Like... Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Well, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Uh, don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, Keiko-chan. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. Hear you loud and clear. Yeah, and besides, <laughs> I mean, there's still people that hook up in bars and stuff. But, I mean, as far as being like the only place to go and meet people, it's not really, you know, a thing anymore. Between those two. Nothing real, anyway. Because a lot of people, Some like, some of them don't drink at all. Some of them age, can't so drink, like me. Right it does. And so, I, I mean, meeting at a bar or some place is just kind of pointless. You talking about Matsugane san? People go to a bar for, yeah, like, man. hookups or just to get fucked up. Best of both. Or both, you know, to get 
fucked up and hooked up. From different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms, both trying to make it in Camaracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. I don't know if too many people nowadays like meet their fucking soulmate, you know, going out to a dive bar and getting trashed. Well, and having a one night stand and I guess so. You know, thanks for having us on winding up pregnant or something. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. I'm sure it still happens from time to time, but pretty sure it's not like normal everyday stuff now. Yummy. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. Hmm? Uh-oh. Standing up. Your Honor, in a warehouse about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times. But he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense, do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? Uh, Your Honor, we, uh, well... She's on to him. Like, you sneaky motherfucker. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiura, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? A good one, Tog. Wait, you serious? This game is absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down. <laughs> God damn it, there goes the controller shutting off again. My way get chills. God damn it. Sorry guys, not fighting. And of course we would get s fucking side missions. God damn it. That's one. K 
killed. Really, guys? Whoa, he even did a flip afterward. Now that's pretty cool. You actually don't have to walk over the items now, like they go directly into your inventory. I'm assuming they don't do anything, like if your inventory is full, maybe? I don't know. Got no idea. And the side quests are popping up. So that's good for when I'm not recording. It'll keep me busy. This is the Yagami While waiting for the video to render out and I run the place eventually upload and blah blah blah. Kaito. So that's nice. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda Sensei. Not like we don't have the technology. And I see my drone doesn't have the upgrades that it did in judgment. Of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. All right, what's our next uh, blah, blah 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 next objective? Oh, we have to talk to Kaito. Um. Just curious, can we go do other stuff? Uh, map, please? Anywhere? Okay. Yeah, um, I might do some of those, actually. That's probably not a bad idea. Alright, let's get some of these. <clears throat> Uh, alright, that's, that's plenty. Alright, as long as I know I can do some side missions. God damn it. Get up the fucking stairs. Shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Since, uh, Judgment had some stuff, does this game? Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Jesus Christ. Dude. <laughs> My God. All right. Um, I want to look at my items. Okay. We have a fucking motorcycle. That's pretty cool. An RC car, apparently. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. Really nice. Oh, we got DLC available. Uh, I might have to check into that pretty soon. Eh, oh well. All in due time. 